adjourn and I call the member for Ryan. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I rise today to recognise the contribution that people with disability make to communities right across Australia. This Saturday, the 3rd of December, is International Day of People with Disability. It is a UN sanctioned day and it seeks to raise public awareness, understanding and acceptance of people with disability and celebrate their achievements and their contributions. As the Assistant Minister for Social Services and Disability Services, I encourage communities to come together to participate and to celebrate. This day gives all of us the opportunity to reflect on and acknowledge the positive impact people with disability have in our community. We should all consider what we can do to make sure people with disability have the same opportunities to pursue their dreams and reach their full potential. In my local area, I'll be joining with International Disability Ambassador Kani Liddell and we'll be at the McIntyre Writing for Disabled to recognise the wonderful work that they do in supporting young people with disability. Previously, on the 7th of November, I had the pleasure of attending the 2016 National Disability Awards Dinner. There were many deserving recipients of the awards this year, and this special event highlighted the spirit amongst individuals, organisations, services and associated initiatives. All the winners and finalists were very deserving. I particularly recognise my own Brisbane City Council for uh, being awarded Employer of the Year. And of course, uh, the Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull attended and presented Dr. Peter Abulfathi with the Excellence in Technology Award. This morning, I hosted a morning tea for members and senators and peak disability organisations, uh, as well as members of the National Disability and Carers Advisory Council to recognise International Day of People with Disability. I was delighted that Tony D, who was the voice behind the 2016 Rio Paralympics Wear the Superhumans campaign, was also able to attend as he entertained everyone so well at the, the Disability Awards uh, in November. A very special gift for everyone was uh, some not melting moments but helping moments. An ADE by the name of Help Enterprises in uh, Brisbane made some very special little helping moments to give to everyone who was able to attend. I was also delighted that the Minister for Social Services, the Honourable Christian Porter, uh, could attend and uh, he launched the uh, second uh, implementation plan for the National Disability Strategy. And as he said, 2017 is going to be a very important year for us all to work together to ensure that we support those with disability in our community. And we need to consider that there are 4.6 million people in Australia living with disability and the National Disability Insurance Scheme, while being uh, absolutely wonderful and life-changing for people uh, with severe and significant disabilities, will only support 460,000. So there are 4.2 million people with disability who we must continue to support and their carers. Mr Deputy Speaker, International Day of People with Disability will see many local events, uh, including morning teas, community exhibitions, sporting festivals and speaking events. I encourage everyone to join in and celebrate the day. And also, if you want to learn more about the day, of course, we have a website. All good events have a website, idpwd.com.au. This Saturday, as I said, I'll be uh, joining Paralympian Carney Liddell, and we're looking forward to hearing about celebrations being held across uh, the rest of Australia and in other electorates. International Day of People with Disability is not only a day to celebrate the achievements and contributions of people with disability, it is also about highlighting the need to ensure that those with disability are afforded the same opportunities to reach their full potential and pursue their dreams. Whether those dreams are competing at the Paralympics, like Carney Liddell has, or riding a horse at the McIntyre Centre, we can all assist in making them a reality. And I th thank all the people in the disability sector who are so devoted and dedicating to make sure that people with disability lead the lives that they want and achieve the goals that they aspire to.